，因为你林子，因为你宅基地，生产用地了嘛，就是政府全部给你保留。那个地点是医院学校，新入学校是专门为这个异地搬迁人服务的。他们还专门写到有扶贫车间的，就不会把你们搬过去了后，一哈就把你们甩掉了，不是那么回事。你们就有这个村民就变成市民了，到那里。我我是不去，我也，哎，不要。It was a terribly difficult decision. 上个家，他为我去好啊，又为不得老人好。他的地下又为了老人好，又为不得我我去好。哎呀，一起去了。啊，我现在不去。I know they were moving to better circumstances. That they were also carrying a lot of psychological baggage, a lot of guilt for leaving the old folks behind, even though the old folks wanted to be left behind. You know, those families. Part of the reasons that they succeed when they don't have very strong economic circumstances, they succeed because they are a very cohesive family unit. That's what makes Chinese families very special. The moment you break them up, I think something serious is lost. Something significant is lost. It was a microcosm of the whole Shao Kahn concept, which is that you improve your lives, but everybody's lives aren't equal. Some lives people don't want to be disrupted. There are good and bad on both sides. The question of how they survive in the city is really going to be answered by. The measure and the consistency of the support they get—it's certainly going to be difficult unless the support that's extended from the poverty relief system continues, probably for several months or even, you know, a couple of years until they find their feet, until they find their kind of compass in a whole different society. They need to have a community. If they can preserve their customs and their social networks, I think they're going to do much better, and they'll feel that if they do have problems, at least there's people to turn to, to lean on, to get advice from. I think that's hugely important.